yote ambayo yandaliwa kwa ajili ya hili neno i destroy them right now by the fire of the holy ghost na ninaomba bwana roho mtakatifu akaweze kunena na kila mmoja wetu ni asadi kwa sababu ya neema ambayo umeachilia kwa haya madhabahu tunafunika after david na damu ya yesu na tunakuachilia upako wa wakati huu katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na tumeamini wacha tupokee pastor david oh Ah uh, wakiwa na pastor Moigi. Thank you uh, very much uh, dad. Kushukuru sana dad for this opportunity. Kwa sababu ya fursa hii. Before we sit down, kabla tukae chini, I'd like us to read in the book of Romans. Tusoma kitabu cha Warumi, chapter number 8, verse number 14. Mlango wa 8 aya 14 to 17. Paka 17. Romans 8:14. Rumi nane that we are God's children verse number 17 and since we are his children we are his heirs in fact together with Christ we are heirs of God's glory but if we are not we are to share his glory we must also share his suffering can you give that me verse number 14 in the amplified version taka tusome tena aya 14 toleo la amplified amplified version toleo la amplified can we read together tume pamoja for all who are allowing themselves to be led by the spirit of god as sons of god can you say i am a son of god sema mimi ni mwana wa mungu verse number 14 can we read aya 14 tusome the next verse sorry the next verse verse number 15 for you have not received a spirit of slavery leading again to fear of God's judgment but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons but spirit producing sonship amen by which we joyfully cry abba father before we sit down galatians 4 ne aya kwanza Galatians 4:1 Wagaratia mlango wa 4 aya kwanza Galatians 4 Wagaratia mlango wa 4 Amen Amen Now what I mean when I talk about children and their guardian it's this As long as a heir is a child he does not differ at all from a slave even though he is, uh, uh, he is the future owner and a master of all the estate let's go verse number 2 aya pili let's read together Some but, but he is under the authority of guardians and household administrators or managers until the date set by his father when he is of legal age verse number 3 aya tatu so also we whether Jews or Gentiles we were children spiritually immature we were kept like slaves under the elementary man made religious or philosophical teachings of the world verse number four. but when God's plan the proper time and fully come God sent his son born of a woman born under the regulations of the law was number 5 so that we might redeem and liberate those who were under the law that we who believe might be adopted as sons can we can we repeat there so that we may be adopted as sons as children uh, as God's children with all rights of a fully grown member of a family was number 6 haya sita and because you really are his sons god has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts crying out abba father the last scripture is the book of john chapter number 8 verse number 34 and 35 before we sit and iko la mwisho ni yohana 8 aya 34 john yohana 834 8:39 Jesus answered I assure you and most solemnly say to you everyone who practices sin habitually is a slave of sin verse number 
Now the slave does not remain in a household forever. The son, oh, the son of the master does remain forever. forever. And may the Lord bless his word. Amen. You can Amen. be seated in the presence of God. I'm born again this morning. I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. He has been a good God. And uh, together with my family, we have hope in him. Amen. Amen. I want to bring the word of God within the uh, few uh, minutes that we have. And I'm sure the Lord is going to speak to us. And I want to speak or rather to bring a message that I've given a title from slaves to sons. From slaves to sons. And I want to begin by saying this. In the Bible katika Biblia the word slave Neno mtumwa is used interchangeably with the word servant. Inatumika ikibadilishwa moja kwa nyingine na na neno mtumishi. There are portions in the scripture kuna mahali katika maandiko where a servant can be replaced with a slave. Mahali mtumishi ataitwa mtumwa. Like in the book of Romans Paul begins in chapter number 1 verse number 1 Kama Warumi mlango wa kwanza aya kwanza Paulo anaanza He says I Paul Anasema mimi Paulo a servant mtumishi Another scripture or another version says Toleo lingine linasema I Paul a slave Mimi Paulo mtumwa So Paul was saying Kwa hivyo Paulo anasema that I am a slave mimi ni mtumwa because of Christ kwa ajili ya Kristo and that was very good of him na hiyo ilikuwa nzuri sana kwake but as he continues writing the book of Romans lakini anaposonga kukiandika kitabu cha Warumi in chapter number 8 verse number 14 where we read mlango wa 8 aya 14 He says you have not received the spirit that brings fear but you have received the spirit of adoption into sons in other word is telling them yes i am a son but i need to graduate from being a servant lakini nataka kuhitimu kuwa mtumwa to become uh, to become a son kuwa mwana So in the book of Romans the, the Paul is using that word Paulo anatumia hilo neno He is talking about adoption Anaenena kuhusu kufanyika wana Now in the Roman culture katika tamaduni za Kirumi a father was not permitted to call his children sons A baba hakuruhusiwa kuita watoto wake wana Even if they were male hata kama walikuwa wa kiume until they were up to an age of around 14 years baka wafike umri wa kadri miaka 14 hivi so when a father had a child kwa hivyo kama baba angekuwa na kijana and he was around 14 years na anatimiza za umri wa miaka 14 he could take his child anamchukua mwana wake and there he could call a public gathering na anaita kusanyiko and it was like a rite of passage na ni kama kukomoa wakati wa kukomaa and he could call many people na anaita watu wengi and declare his child na anatangaza mwana wake now you are my son sasa umekoma we ni mwana wangu that is the same context that paul is using na paulo anatumia huo mtindo so the word adoption kwa hiyo neno kufanyika means blessing nasema kubadilisha so paul is telling the romans paulo anawaambia warumi it is not enough to be born in the family of god haijatosha kuzaliwa katika jamii ya mungu it is not enough to be a servant in the haijatosha kuwa mtumishi kanisani you need to be a son unahitaji kuwa mwana so sonship kwa hivyo wana it is a status ni kiwango mtu anatimiza that a roman 
child acquired when he was of age. And at that point, this son was able to inherit from the father. Amen. Amen. So, Paul, can we go to Romans? He is saying that you have received not a spirit of uh, uh, fear. Kwamba hamjapokea roho ya uoga. Amen. Amen. You so you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Hamjapokea roho inawafanya watumwa waoga. Amen. Amen. So there is a spirit Kwa hivyo kuna roho that you can receive ambayo unaweza pokea and it makes you a slave. Na inakufanya mtumwa. But he says instead lakini anasema badala yake you have received God's spirit umepokea roho wa Mungu when he adopted you as his own children anayekufanya kuwa mwana wa Mungu praise the lord bwana asifiwe and we call him abba father na tunamuita abba baba if you can use the amplified version i'll be happy ukileta uh, tolewa amplified nitafurahia amen amen So in verse number 15 aya ya 15 for you have not received the spirit of slavery kwa maana haujapokea roho ya utumwa but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons umepokea roho ya kukufanyika wana so when you receive that spirit ukipokea hiyo roho that produces sonship ambayo inazalisha wana by that spirit you are able to cry abba father kwa roho unaweza kumlilia abba baba amen amen so paul is saying paul anasema you need to be a son unahitaji kuwa mwana before you are a servant kabla uwe mtumishi sema amen sema amen in my village katika kijiji chetu there was one mad man alikuwa na mtu mmoja aliyekuwa akichama uh, and every day na kila I, siku i think i've ever told you this story nafikiria nishaiwaambia hii hadithi every then. day you'd wake up kila siku angeamka anakata matawi akatua mahuti and he goes to the market na anaenda sokoni and he sweeps from corner to corner anafagia kutoka upande huu mpaka mwisho mwingine so by the time people were coming to the market watu wakifika sokoni The market is very clean. Soko limefagiriwa ni safi. At around 8, kaya kitu masaya saa 2, the county government are, are cleaners. Ah uh, wanaofagia wa county government. They come to the to the market. Wanakuja sokoni and they begin to to sweep. Na wanaanza kufagia. But the mad man has already swept every corner. Lakini mwenda wazimu amefagia uh, soko yote. So the market is already clean. Kwa hiyo soko ni tayari ni safi. So he used to serve that every market day. Alikuwa anafanya hivyo kila siku ya soko. Na sikujua alikuwa anajuaje siku ya siku ya uh, market. Na tia amenya amenya ngati nyawa thoko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani agosho. And the Bible says this. Na Biblia inasema hivi. Uh, no not the Bible. I was in the story before I got Kota, kwa kwa hadithi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I wanted to say this. Nilikuwa nataka kusema hivi. At the end of the month. Na kila mwisho wa mwezi I'm sure this county officials nina uhakika hao wafanyikazi wa county the cleaners of the county wafagiaji wa county goes to the bank wanaenda kwa bank and they withdraw their salary na wanatoa mshahara wao but the mad man lakini mwenda wazimu know where to go anajua ataenda wapi but he used to sweep lakini ana alikuwa anafagia he used to do much of the work anafanya ile kazi kubwa i wanted to bring that example so that i can show you that you need to be a son unahitaji kuwa mwana before you become a servant kabla uwe mtumishi amen amen when you become a son unafanyika mwana is when you accept jesus christ unapokea yesu christ as your personal savior kama mokozi wako binafsi and that's why in the book of john na ndiposa katika kitabu cha yohana 834 8:34 the bible says bia inasema that he who sins ya kwamba atendaye dhambi is a slave ni mtumwa haleluya haleluya and the bible says in verse number 35 na bia inasema aya 35 a slave does not abide forever in the house of the father mtumwa hakai milele katika nyumba ya baba amen 
Amen. So when you are a sinner wakati wewe ni mwenye dhambi and you are still doing what you are supposed to do in the church na unafanya jambo ambalo unapaswa kufanywa kanisani you are like this person who we, goes to sweep wewe ni kama huyu mtu ambaye anakufagia but his name is, is, is not in the database of the count lakini jina lake haliko katika mtandao wa, wa county when you come to church and you are giving your tithe Unapokuja kanisani na unatoa azaka zako. But you are still a sinner. Lakini bado ni mwenye dhambi. You are like a person that is working. Wewe ni kama mtu anayefanya kazi. And you are not expecting a pay by the end of the na day. Na usubiri mshahara mwisho wa mwezi. And this is the prayer that I have for every one of us. Na hili ndilo ombi langu kwa kila mmoja. That as we continue to serve diligently. Mama tunapozidi kutumika. Make sure you are serving according to the will of the Father. Hakikisha umehudumu kulingana na mapenzi ya Baba. Make sure that your name is in the right standing with God. Hakikisha jina lako limesimama vyema na Mungu. Make no sense. Haifanyi uh, jambo lolote nzuri. For you to be devoted to the work of God. Wewe kujitolea kwa kazi ya Mungu. When you have not given your life to Christ. Wakati hujatoa maisha yako kwa Kristo. When you are not doing what is right before God. Wakati hujafanya kilicho sawa kwa Mungu. That is what the Bible says. Hivyo ndivyo Biblia inavyosema. When you sin you are a slave. Unapona kwamba wewe ni mtumwa. So we have got so many slaves. Tuna watumwa wengi that are tithing in the church. Ambao wanatoa zaka zao kanisani. We have got so many slaves. Na watumwa wengi that are supporting the work of God. Ambao wanasimama na kazi ya Mungu. Today I came to encourage somebody. Leo nimekuja kutia mtu mmoyo. You need to major on the major. Unafaa kushughulikia ambayo yanapaswa kwa The major is the details of your heart. Ya kwanza ni moyo wako the matters of your heart shughuli za moyo wako na nikawa ninaambia watu na gikoroge radu tukumbuke ya kwamba si ni wasafiri tulilika na hivyo tulia already sababu tumeshughulikia mambo ambayo ni ya kanisa tulitoshughulikia ile mahuduma ya kanisa na tukasahau kuna safari ya kwenda mbinguni na tukalika na kuenda safari ya matwini haleluya haleluya tumeshughulikia mambo ambayo ni ya kwetu Tusifurike ile maudu magwito mno. Tasahau ya kwamba bado tunahitaji uzima wa milele. Kali gani naona tuna hawa tena moyo wa tena na tena. Hii ndio ujumbe ambao nimekuja nao. Ina nayo domeneli ya jokile nayo. Ya kwamba sisi tumefanyika kuwa wana hata hivyo neto tukete siana siangai in the book of john chapter number 1 yohana mlango wa kwanza verse number 12 aya 12 this is what the bible says in the Even, book of the, in the same book chapter number 1 verse number 12 Yohana mlango wa kwanza aya 12 John 1:12 Yohana 1:12 This is what the Bible says Hivi ndivyo inavyosema But to as many as did receive and welcome him Lakini wote waliompokea na kumwamini He gave them the right Hao aliwapa uwezo the authority mamlaka and the privilege na tunuku to become children of God Kuwa wan watoto wa Mungu That is to those who believe hiyo ni kwa wao amini and what is to believe na kuamini ni nini to believe is to adhere to a uh, kuamini ni kushikilia uh, makubali it is to trust in ni kuamini it is to rely on ni kuegemea the name of the lord nen uh, jina la bwana praise the lord bwana asifiwe to this many as did receive him wa wengi waliopokea and welcomed him na wakamkubalia he gave them the right aliwapa ruhusa can you say i have a right sema nina mamlaka to become a son kuwa mwana hallelujah hallelujah so today i want you to know leo ningetamani utaje i want you to ask yourself nataka ujiulize am i a son je mimi ni mwana or am i a servant ama mimi ni mtumishi in the book of genesis chapter number 15 mwanzo wa mlango wa 15 from verse number 1 kwanza yake aya yake ya kwanza Genesis 15 verse number 1 aya uh, mwa, mwanzo 15 aya kwanza an interesting scripture that i want us to see kuna andiko la kusisimua ningetamani tuliona the bible says after these things the word of the lord came to abram in a vision sema baada haya mambo nene kamtia abram kutoka kwa mungu likisema do not be afraid abram i am your shield usiogope abram mimi ni ngao yako your reward for obedience shall be very great thawabu yako kwa uaminifu uh, wako itakuwa kuu now listen sikia 
God is telling Abraham, Mungu anamwambia Abraham, your reward for your obedience shall be very great. Thawabu yako kwa sababu ya kutii kwako itakuwa kubwa. Verse number 2 the Bible says. Aya pili Biblia inasema. And Abraham said, Abraham akasema, Lord God, what reward will you give me since I am living this world childless? Ewe Bwana Mungu, utanipa nini mimi? Naenda zangu hali sina mtoto. He who will be the owner and heir of my house is is this servant Eliezer from Damascus. Nataka emiliki yangu ni huyu Eliezer mdamaski. So Abraham is a worried man. Abrahamu ni mtu ambaye anasononeka ndani. Although the Lord is telling him that I will reward you for your obedience. Hata kama Mungu anamwambia nitakulipa kwa kutii kwako. But Abraham is a worried man. Lakini Abraham ana hofu. And is asking God, na anamuuliza Mungu, what reward will you give me? Je, ndio wapi gani utakayonipa? Since I am living this world childless. Naondoka na ulimwenguni bila mwana. And this servant Eliezer, na huyu mtumishi Eliezer, inherit me. Atanirithi. So in other words, Abraham is trying to tell God, uh, maneno mengine Abraham anamwambia Mungu, it is not right for our a servant to inherit me. Si sawa tumwa kunirithi i don't feel good when a servant is inheriting me siizi vizuri ninaporithiwa na mtumishi and verse number 3 the bible says aya tatu bila inasema and abram continued abram akaendelea since you have given no child to me tazama huku nipa uzao one a servant born in my house is my heir na mtu aliyezaliwa nyumbani mwangu ndiye mrithi wangu tuendee verse number 4 aya ya 4 Then behold the Na, word of the Lord came to him saying This man Eliezer huyu hata kurithi will not be your heir huyu hata kurithi but he who shall come from your born body shall be your heir Ali atakaye toka katika viuno vyako ndiye atakaye kurithi So God called God concerned Mungu aka hata yeye akakuwa concerned about the worries of Abraham Husu masononeko ya Abraham and he told this man Abraham na akamwambia huyu mtu Abraham that Eliezer will not inherit you kwamba Eliezer hata kurithi but you will have a son of your own lakini utakuwa na mrithi wako brethren i came to speak to us this day wapendwa nilikuja kunena na nasi siku hiyo that we have a lot of Eliezers in the house of god na kusema kuna Eliezer wengi katika nyumba ya mungu god is looking for isaacs in the house lakini mungu anatafuta isaka katika nyumba can i submit to you that an Eliezer will not inherit the king nom of god je nikujuize kwamba eliezer hawatarithi ufalme wake eliezer will not get that which god has for the church eliezer hatarithi ambacho ni cha kanisa it doesn't matter for how long you have been in church haijarishi umekuwa kanisani muda gani eliezer was there before isaac came eliezer alikuwa pale hata kabla isaac but he did not have any permission to inherit from abraham hakurithi mali ya Abraham Eliezer was there he served faithfully um, Eliezer alikuwa pale na akahudumu kwa wana Mungu I submit to you that there are levels where an Eliezer cannot go beyond Lakini wacha nikujulize is that kuna viwango ambazo Eliezer hata That's hafika. why every believer needs to be translated from a servant to a son Na niposa kila muumini lazima abadilike kuwa mtumishi kuwa mwana Because when you continue to serve without a revelation of who you are in Christ Niposa ukizidi kuhudumu bila ufunuo wewe ni nani katika Kristo you cannot inherit from your kuna mali ambayo hutarithi kutoka kwa baba yake. Very worrying. Ni jambo la kushangaza to see somebody that is very faithful in service. Kwa baba kuona mtu ambaye ni mwaminifu sana katika huduma. He knows he cannot inherit from me. Lakini anajua si hawezi nirithi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani ya rosho. It is very worrying. Jambo la kuhusisha baba. For you to be there. Wewe kuwa pale. You have somebody working for you. Wewe kuna mtu ambaye anakufanya. He is very faithful. Ni mwaminifu. But when you look at them, lakini ukimtazama, you unashindwa what can 
what can I do? You want to the best, but you cannot do because there are your children. Number one, I want you to state this, to know this. Talking about the difference between slaves and sons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those servants. Sons without relationship. Uh, is there to make sure that the work is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sonship is about a relationship. Wana ni uhusiano. But servants kini watumwa is about defend the relationship pigania uhusiano you defend the opposition zaidi unavyopania kiwango chako kanisani did you say amen amen i say defend your relationship or your position in christ nasema ganie nafasi yako katika kristo more than you defend your position in that fellowship zaidi unavyopania nafasi yako katika huo shirika more than you defend that which you do for god my uh, zaidi ya unavyopigania unayofanyia mungu can i submit to you that god is worried about who you are to him more than what you do for him unachoacha ni kuambia mungu anashughulikia sana jinsi wewe ulivyo kwake kuliko unayomfanyia wewe amen There are many people that are worried. Kuna watu wengi sana ambao wana hofu. How the work of God will continue. Ah kama kazi ya Mungu itaendelea. But they are not worried about the state of their heart. Lakini hawajali kuhusu mioyo yao. That is where we go wrong. Hapo ndipo tunapokosea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hawajali kuhusu mkutano wa ufufu wa kanisa. Even ask what is the day of the revival meeting. Hata waulizi they don't ask when people to pray hallelujah hallelujah but are very concerned with things i'm not saying being a servant is wrong but i'm saying major on the major first lakini sisemi kama umtumishi ni mbaya hallelujah kwanza kwanza look at this tazama bwana yesu asifiwe mwanani ya in the book of luke chapter number 10 luka mlango wa 10 verse number 40 aya ya 40 Luke chapter number 10 Luka mlango wa 10 verse number 40 aya ya 40 Are we there? Je tuko pale? Can we start from number 39? Read. Kuanzia aya 39. She had a sister named Mary. Naye alikuwa na dada aliyeitwa Mariamu. Who seated her at God's feet and was continually listening to his teaching. Aliyeketi miguni pa Yesu akisikiliza maneno yake. Verse number 40. The Bible says but Martha was very busy and distracted with all of her serving responsibilities. Lakini Martha alikuwa akishughulika kwa matumizi wengi akaendea akisema Bwana. Look at this. Tazama hapa. But Martha kini Martha was what alikuwa nini very busy akihangaika and doing what and distracted akihangaika with all her serving responsibilities na matumizi yake mengi amen amen he was busy and distracted by all her serving responsibilities alikuwa akihangaika na utumishi mwingi mother was not an evil woman Mother hakuwa mama mwovu. Mother was just concerned about the visiting of Jesus. Ah, mother alikuwa anakishughulikia Yesu kutembea. And she went to where Jesus was. Na akaenda mahali Yesu alikuwa. And she said, na akasema, Lord, Bwana, Lord, Bwana, is it of no concern to you that my sister has left the kitchen and come to the feet? Je, huo ni vibaya kwa kama ndugu yangu aliniacha nikutumikie peke yangu is it of no concern to you jesus je hauoni vibaya my sister has left me cooking kama dada yangu ameniacha nikipika and she has come to where you are na amekuja mahali upo ah 
Ah, Martha. Martha. Eliezer. Eliezer. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Verse number 41, the Bible says. Aya 40 na moja. But the Lord replied to her. Bwana akamjibu akamwambia Martha, 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 you are worried and bothered and anxious about so many things. Unafasumuka na kufadhaika kwa ajili ya vitu vingi. Unasumbuliwa ni mambo mengi. Ni uradhi upo ni maudu maige. Anaambiwa tulia madha. Kero madha horera. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and tell them do not be bothered. Atazama mtu mwambia usihangaike. Amen. Amen. I remember some few years ago I talked I I, I preached about these three siblings. Na na Kumbuka wakati tumeenda kimilihubiri kuhusu hawa wana watatu. Na nikawaambia mother was busy cooking bread for the bread of life. Nikawaambia mother alikuwa na shughuli nyingi akipikia mkate mwenye mke uzima. The Bible says that Jesus is the bread of life. Inasema Yesu ndiye mkate wa uzima. And mother went inside. Na mother akaenda ndani. To make sure the bread of life has bread. Kumahakikisha mkate wa uzima ana mkate. The wrong practice. Ah, majukumu ambayo yamepotoka kidogo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. It is a wrong priority. Ah, ni kuweka majukumu yasiyo na haja kwanza. Verse number 42. Aya ya 42. But only one thing is necessary. Lakini jambo moja ambalo lafaa. Tell your neighbor But one thing is necessary. Lakini jambo moja rafaa. Tell them one thing is necessary. Amwambie jambo moja rafaa. When you major on the major, unaposhughulikia kwanza kwanza, the minors will fix themselves. Mambo ya ya chini yatajishughulikia yenyewe. Did you say amen? Sio umesema amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we get to the presence to the relationship part, wapoingia mahali pa uhusiano, wapendwa hata malaika watapanga viti. When we fix the relationship first. Napoweka uhusiano kwanza vyema. Sinye alisema ya kwamba anaweza inua ma, ma, mawe imwabudu. Naitwa wengine nao kelia mahigama mambo yote. Kama anaweza inua mawe kwa nini azitume malaika wapange viti? Okay. Kono kelia mahigama naitwa watu mwenye malaika kama kama fagaite. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Natema hivi nataka watu ambao watamia Mungu kazi. Ya dadu magiruti ragai wera. Wajijue kwanza kama wana mimi nyewe bele tashana siangai. Haleluya. Haleluya. Watu ambao watakuja kuosha, adumeo kagodhabia, wanaosha kama wanajijua kwanza. Mara labia tadumeo kama wanaongea kwa ndimi sababu wanajua there is a relationship to keep. Matiari nadhi wa minute ni moye keno gwatani na mudha. Don't just do to make sure that the work is done. Usifanye tu kuhakikisha kazi imefanywa. Make sure that you are doing is to somebody that is preaching out there. Allah Mary has chosen the good part. Mama Mariam amekuwa lile nzuri. And that good part is an attach to her. Hiyo ni kwa manufaa kwake mwenyewe. Brethren, I came to submit to you this morning. Pendo nimekuja kuwajulisha asubuhi ya leo. That there is an advantage when the relationship part is better than the serving part. Kuma na manufaa wakati mahusiano yako sawa kuliko huduma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says in I think in the book of Matthew 6:33. Sasa bila nasema Mathayo 6:33 that seek ye first the kingdom of God. Utafute ni kwanza ufalme wa Mungu. And the other things shall be added. Na mambo mengine yataongezewa. Seek ye first. Utafute ni kwanza. Amen. Amen. So the issue here is hapa ni There is a relationship to main, maintain. Kuna There is a relationship Kuna that is more important than the work that Am- you are doing. Bauni wa maana kuliko kazi unayoifanya. Amen. Amen. Martha, Martha was very busy. Alikuwa na shughuli nyingi. And there is nothing wrong with that. Na hakuna shida yoyote na hilo. Lakini mimi ninafuata the principle that Jesus said. Lakini nafuata kanuni ambayo Yesu alifunza. One thing is necessary. Jambo moja ni maana. Because Jesus is around. Kwa maana Yesu yuko hapa. Concentrate on him. Ashughulikia yeye mwenyewe. Then from there. Na baada ya hiyo, he will give you the assignment. Atakupa kazi. There are people you are serving where you are not supposed to be serving because you don't have a relationship with God. Kuna watu na dumu mahali upaswi kwa maana uh, 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 uhusiano na Bwana and when you serve diligently in the wrong position you can get reward na unapofanya kwa jiti, kazi kwa jitihada mahali ambapo upaswi hautapata thawabu 
Wadini muna niangalia ni kama muelewi vile nila sema. Hini kemurado hata mutaraiti menyore driver. Unaeza ingia kwa, kwa nyumba kama pasta gato. Hile nyumba wanafanyia kazi. Kuna ofisi nyingi. No igire nyumba ta pasta gato. Kulea maru tagira hila kwa ofisi nyingi. Na zote zikona zina, kona computer. Na siyote zina computer. Pasta gato waende ingie the office na anze kutaipu. Pasta gato igire ofisi hile tali yona aje kutaipu. Afanye kazi hiyo siku. Aluta hila mudenyo siku. Mwenye ofisi kuje ambate. Mwenye na office okay akore hata mulipa sababu alifanya kazi deko mure hata oni alutira bi there are some people that are busy in the wrong office kuna watu ambao wako na shughuli nyingi kwa ofisi ambao si if you want to get a reward kama unataka kupata thawabu cultivate the relationship ya kazi and the lord will give you the right assignment na bora kupa kazi na kufa cultivate a relationship fanya kazi husiano and then you will serve rightly na utafanya kazi there is a reward mahali kuna thawabu relationship is more important than Us. getting the work done uhusiano ni wa maana kuliko kufanya ile kazi amen amen sababu bili inasema ya kwamba kazi yetu itakufuata kwa hivyo kama ulifanya kazi mali au kupewa kazi utaenda uambie unajua kuna wapendwa walikuwa nasema ya kwamba in your name unawamenya kuna edoma ika in your we prophesied tunatabiri in your name kwa jina lako we cast out demons nafukuza mapepo lakini bilia inasema ya kwamba yesu akawaambia Yes, I never knew you. Sikuwajua. So doing the work is not what matters a lot. Amen. Amen. Where will sit to sit to changanya hapa na vile ula kujanga kanisa mapema? Ngatukanilia na uka kanisa tene. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani ya gosho. Na mimi napenda watu ambao wanakuja kazi kanisa mapema. Na ninyede te adora moke te kanisa tene. Sina shida na hiyo. But if you do the work so that you can cover a relationship breach kama kuna crack in the relationship and you are working very hard, hard to cover the crack I have a problem with that Ukifanya kazi ili ufunike mwanya wa uhusiano niko na shida na hiyo Amen Amen Wale watu ambao wametenda dhambi Adwalea mehiti Ukiwaona wakifanya kazi. Ukimaona wakiruta wira. Saa zingine ukiambiwa huyu alikuwa mahali jana. Maida madugiro aya huyu arali hado ila. Utasema wewe acha kumuonea. Ah, wewe acha kumuonea. Because there are people who do so that they cover what they did. Kwa maana ni watu wanafanya ili wafunike kile wamefanya. May the Lord help the church. Mungu alisaidie kanisa lake. That the relationship will be more important. Kwamba uhusiano utakuwa wa maana zaidi. Ah. Ah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani ya gosho. The relationship will be more important. Uhusiano utakuwa maana zaidi than what you do for God. Kuliko unayomfanyia Mungu. Mary was at the feet of Jesus. Mariamu alikuwa kwa miguu ya Yesu. Alikuwa pala kujali kama Yesu sababu ulikuja utakula ama utaenda bila chakula. Ali haudamaka kama Yesu toni upye kani. He knew that Jesus has got the ability to fix everything. Alijua Yesu ana uweza wa kufanya yote. Amen. Zema amina. When you get to the feet of Jesus Christ. Napofika kwa miguu ya Yesu Kristo. When the relationship is fixed. Wakati uhusiano uko sawa, even your family will be fixed. Hata jamii yako itakuwa sawa. I say if the relationship is right. Wakati uhusiano uko sawa, even your business will be right. Hata biashara yako itakuwa sawa. Amen. Amen. So what am I saying? Je, ninasema nini? Sons care much about the relationship. Wana wanajali sana uhusiano. But servants, lakini watumu ama watumishi, they are very much concerned about getting the work done. Wanashughulikia sana kazi kufanywa. And this is my prayer. Na hili ni ombi langu. In this church because we need a lot of servants. Katika hili kanisa kwa maana tunahitaji wahudumu wengi. All servants will be sons. Watumishi wote wawe wana in the kingdom of God. Katika ufalme wa Mungu. Ah. Ah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadhani agosho. You go to every corner. Unaenda katika kila kona. You will see these are serving as sons. Utaona hao wanahudumu kama wana. Sema amen. Sema amen. Another thing because at the interest of time I don't know how many I can say but I have so many 
lingine kwa ajili ya wakati siju nitapitia ngapi lakini niko na nyingi sonship is characterized by friendship wana unadhibitishwa ama unaonyeshwa kwa urafiki friendship and openness urafiki na kufungukiana but a servant fears the master lakini mtumishi anaogopa an mkuu wake so sonship is characterized by friendship wana unaonyeshwa na urafiki servanthood is characterized by fear unaonthibitish unaonyeshwa na uoga that's why in roman 8:14 it says you have not received the spirit of fear basi inasema warumi 8:14 14 hamjapokea roho ya uoga fear into slavery uoga katika utumwa but you have been adopted lakini mmezaliwa kuwa wana amen amen you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves haumjapokea roho inayowafanya watumwa wanaoogopa amen amen but the spirit that you have received lakini roho mlioipokea it is the spirit that makes you a son ni roho inayowafanya kuwa wana in the book of john 15:15 yohana 15:15 there is something that jesus was saying kuna jambo Yesu alikuwa anasema John chapter number 15 verse number 15 Yohana 15 aya yake ya 15 He is saying I no longer call you servants kwamba sitawaita tena watumwa I no longer call you slaves sitawaita tena watumishi Another version will say I no longer call you servants siwaiti tena watumishi Amen Amen I do not call you servants any longer Yesu siwaiti tena watumishi For the servant does not know his master what his master is doing. Maana mtumishi hajui anachokifanya bwana wake. But I have called you my friends. Lakini mimi nimewaita nyinyi rafiki kwa because I have revealed to you everything that I have heard from my father. Kwa sababu nimeyajulisha yote ambayo niliyoyasikia kutoka kwa baba yangu. That scripture kata hilo andiko Jesus is saying already I am a son Yesu anasema hai mimi ni mwana because I have had something from my father Kwa maana nimesikia jambo kutoka kwa baba and that which I have received from my father Na nilichopokea kutoka kwa baba I have made it known to you Nimewajulisha nyinyi because it's like we are equals Ni kwa maana sisi ni kwangu kimoja The Bible says in the book of Galatians where we read that we are co-heirs Bila mawa Galatia mahali tulisoma sisi ni waridi pamoja. The Bible says in Romans 8 ukiendelea pale mwisho that Jesus is our firstborn brother. Bila inasema Warumi 8 ukienda kumalizia pale Yesu ni mzaliwa wetu wa kwanza kwa wana. If Jesus is our brother, Yesu ni ndugu yetu. Then we are sons of God. Sisi ni wana wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. So that why is telling them Hasa anasema anawaambia I do not call you servants any longer. Ninyi siwaiti watumishi tena. But I call you friends. Lakini nawaita marafiki. Amen. Amen. If you are a friend of God say amen. Kama ni rafiki wangu sema wa Mungu sema amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends will know marafiki watajua what is happening. Ni nini kinaendelea? Sons will know. Ah wana watajua what is happening. Ni nini kinaendelea? but servants lakini watumishi kuna mahali ya wapitangi eh hado matakiraga sons will know the details of the company wana watajua undani hallelujah hallelujah but servants they are restricted lakini watumishi hawaelewi undani sonship is characterized by friendship wana una ishara ya urafiki so you need to make god Nafaa kumfanya Mungu a friend rafiki before you serve him kabla umtumikie as you serve him as a friend napomtumikia kama marafiki because the bible says that maana bila inasema a servant does not know what his master is doing mtumishi hajui ni nini bwana wake anachokifanya brethren if you become a son Pendwa mkifanyika wana you will know what your father is doing utajua ni nini baba yako anachokifanya there are things that will never catch up with you as a surprise kuna vitu ambavyo havitakushika bila wewe kutambua did you say amen je umesema amina 
Angels are never stranded. Wana hawapote njia tu hivi kuna nani? Because God will reveal to them. Kwa maana Mungu atawadhihirishia. That which is when you are a son how to Unaenda kulela bibere yake ni kulela. Haleluya. Haleluya. Wewe umewahi ona mtoto wako. Wewe ni uliona mwana wako akiogopa kulia sababu uko karibu. Akitikira kulela todo yako. Kwanza ukiwa karibu ndio anapiga ile nduru kubwa. Kwanza yako ni gari la makilia. Amen. Amen. Wakati kuna watu wageni anaweza kuogopa. Hidakui na ageni nusu kile. Lakini wakati yako karibu wewe. Ndio ile yako naye. Anapiga ile nduru kubwa sababu anataka msaada. Lugoga abiri anene vyo toni anafata lote hizo. Because akuogopi. Toda wetigira. There are people who fear to ask big things from God. Ni kule ndo metigara wetia ndo kule gai. Haleluya. Haleluya. Juzi nilikuwa natembea na na na, na Moses. Ila edegidadi ana akaona ndege pale juu akaniambia dadi utanunulia ndege akiona ndege hali yako akijulia dadi ni ukagure ndege aliamini ninaweza ku afford ndege eti kile no gure ndege amen amen aku niogopa kunitisha eti kile akojetia sababu alijua naweza inunua naona ina ogure na ni kweli ninaweza inunua mema no ogure haleluya 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 When you are a son, wakati wewe ni mwana, you can ask anything from God without fearing. Unaweza itisha chochote kutoka kwa Mungu bila kuogopa. Wewe umewahi ona mfanyikazi anaenda kwa boss. Wewe unaona mtu wa wili akidhi kwa boss. Namwambia kesho nataka kubeba hii 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 laptop. Akaa nzuri la kuwa laptop hii. Nataka ndio huku yangu. Huku wa computer ina ogaike kwa kwa msi. Ndiko na ka movie nataka anga kuona nikiwa ninalala. A servant cannot do that. Tumisha hizi fanya hivyo. But a son, kini mwana, anaweza ingia kwa hiyo kampuni. No aigere kampuni hiyo. Atabebe bila kuitisha. Akuiona tewetia. Sababu anajua kampuni ni yao. Na mimi kampuni ni ya baba yake. Na ni aidhe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you become a son, unapokuwa 
mwana you become a friend of god kwake mungu you no longer fear hawapi tena kuna watu wanaogopa sana kweli na dumeti gerete muno may the lord the spirit of courage mungu kupe roho ya ushujaa the bible says in the book of first timothy that we are not given the spirit of fear lazima katika mwezi wa kwanza hujapea roho wa uoga lakini roho wa nguvu sound mind sound mind na mawazo timamu haleluya haleluya when you unajua when the bible says you are given the spirit of sound mind or, the, or, or sound mind na bila kusema roho ya mawazo timamu it means that hata ukiitisha ndege kumaanisha unaweti ya ndege na hauna baiskeli na ndio na muithikini wewe sio wazimu wewe dutete bao wewe sio wazimu dutete bao it is only that you don't have fear ni vile tu hauna uoga so sonship wana is about friendship ni urafiki but servanthood lakini utumishi there is a lot of fear una uoga so if you are here and you serve in this church kama uko hapa na unahudumu hapa kanisani na ukiona bishop ndio unakimbianga mahali pako pa kuhudumu naona bishop you are na dieza wewe ni edezeri haleluya haleluya when you are a son wakati wewe ni mwana i love people kuna watu ambao wanaoshanga hii kanisa wakati hakuna mtu anawaona nenye dete adukuri adumadha there are people who come like yesterday was saturday kama jana walikuwa hapa saa 12 kuna watu malaye huko dinashara wakipanga hizo viti ambazo tumekalia mama gaiti show hii kale ile na wakuchukua selfie wakaweka kwa group ya wasavu ya kanisa matine ya urasel marekira kusina wapi ya kanisa wapangia wase ni toa mfagi mfagira haleluya haleluya hawa kuchukua selfie wa waambie vile walifanya kazi matine ya selfie mama mauge ya marute tewira that is when you are a son ni wakati ni mwana you don't just fear the master hawa gopi mkua relate as a friend mkua mwana fiki haleluya haleluya when you look at a company and the master the boss is passing by Tazama kampuni na boss anapita. Unaona kila mtu amejipea shughuli. Kona kila mtu amejipea shughuli. Amejipea shughuli. Hata kwa kanisa, ona kanidhaini. Unaonanga watu wamekuja kwa maombi. Kona watu ni mokile mahoe. Watu wamekaa kwa kona fulani. Watu waikalita kona fulani. Ako WhatsApp mwingine ako Facebook. Eh WhatsApp ni ni Facebook. Akiona mchungaji anakukaribia raba ona. handa. Ha. Ona mtugate ni akweli ya. You are a fearing. You know you are a servant. Wewe mtumishi when you are a son the relationship the friendship with the holy spirit is more real wakati wewe ni mwana amen amen kwa hivyo wachana na hiyo mambo ya kuwa pale unataka tu watu wakuone siao korole hali atu ture dadu makuone when you are serving wakati na hudumu serve as if you are uh, you are serving in your own company tumika kama unatumika kwa kampuni yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kuna wakati wakati nilikuwa na jenga, nilikuwa naona saa zingine sina pesa za kulipa mtu wa, wa kusaidia fundi. Ninaenda hapo kutoka asubuhi. Sasa jioni naona fundi ananiitisha pesa. Okay, didi haka kai. Gekarus didi modi na pesa yako na mtu wa pesa zake. Waine fundi akajitia pesa gamu he. Nikajiuli ninajiuliza na mimi nitalipwa na nani? Nie guli honu. Ninagundua kumbe hapa ni kwetu. Galikana wako huko ni kuhitu. Kumbe hapa ni kwangu. I don't wakwa. need to be paid. Sitaji kulipwa. Haleluya. Haleluya. There are people unafanya kazi ili ukaweze kupata kitu. That is a servant. Kuna kwenda adu mmeka kwenda maamuri kidu. Maamuri kidu. A son works in their own farm without pay. What? Wanu wanafanya kazi kwa kampuni yao. Sababu wanajua after all this is my inheritance. Hani. Marame nya unuga yuwa. Akwa. After all this is my inheritance. Hata hiyo. Hapo. Ndio gokeria hau. Haleluya. Haleluya. But there are several things that I I I, I would have mentioned. Lakini ningetaja kadhaa. I want you to gauge yourself. Taka ujipime. Are you an Eliezer? Wewe ni Eliezeri. Are you Armad a Martha? Wewe ni Martha in the house of God. Katika nyumba ya Mungu. Do you have a relationship with God? Je una uhusiano na Mungu? Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Ngeomba tusimame. Goria tulogame. I want you to open your mouth. Nataka ufungue kinywa chako. And tell the Lord to help you. Na muambie Mungu akusaidie.
Tell the Lord I need help. Mwambie Mungu nahitaji msaada. Maybe you have served. Labda wewe ni mtumishi. Just because you just want to serve. Kwa maana tu unataka kutumika. Or maybe you are appointed or you are given that work by your fellowship leader or your pastor. Ama ulipewa hiyo kazi na kiongozi wa ushirika But you have never chungaji. considered the relationship. Lakini hujai ijari uhusiano. I want you to go before the Lord and tell the Lord I need to have a personal relationship with you. Ningetamani uende mbele za Bwana ummwambie ningetamani kuwa na uhusiano na wewe. I desire to get more intimate with you God. Ninaotamani kuwa na ushirika wa undani na na wewe ewa Mungu. Father we thank you. Baba tuakushukuru. Just open your mouth for one minute and tell the Lord this is the prayer of my heart. Fungua kinywa chako mwambie Bwana hili ni ombi la moyo wangu. This is the desire of my heart. Hii ni shauku ya moyo wangu. Father we thank you. Father Baba tuakushukuru. Baba tuakushukuru. I want to uh, welcome our dad so that he can finish. Tuakumkaribisha askofu ili amalize. Father we thank you. Baba tuakushukuru. Amen. 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 Endelea kumwambia Bwana nisaidie. Dina bena kuiraga idaidia. Uhusiano wangu na Gwa, wewe. Gwata ndio yako nawe. Wewe ndio kitu cha muhimu sana. Usio ni godoro wa fata makiria. Katika maisha yangu. Dini wa mtorero wako. Katika jina la Yesu. Dini wale tu. Wewe unajijua. Wewe ni wewe huyu. Sijui kama kazi ambayo unamfanyia Mungu. Ndio kana wewe ndio alitiragai. Imekupa shughuli sana mpaka wakati wako wa maombi wakati wako na ushirika na Mungu haupati. Ukwete shughuli nyingi kinya kaida kama hoya gwatano na Ngai ni wagite. Abia Mungu ningetaka kuwa mwana anayekufanyia kazi. Naga inededa kutu kama mwana urakurutira wira. I want to be a son who serves you. Nataka kuwa mwana anayekutumikia. By retaining the friendship. Akuhudumisha urafiki. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Ningetaka tuombe. Ndio tuhoe. Na tunapoenda kuomba. Na tugidhiko hoya. Nikitaka kuuliza. No nyede kuulia. Hata kama tulikuwa tumeita watu wa kuokoka. Unaokona tu uitete adwa kuhonoka. Relationship begins when you accept Jesus as the Lord of your and the savior of your life. Uhusiano unaanza unapompokea Yesu kama Bwana na mokozi wa maisha yako. Could you be here? Labda uko mahali hapa. You belong to this church or you are a visitor? Wewe ni hili kanisa ama ni mgeni? This Somewhere you serve God. Una mahali unamhudumia Mungu. But you know your relationship is not right with God. Na unajua uhusiano wako na Mungu hauko sawa sawa. And you are saying today I want to respond to the word of God. Na unasema leo nataka kulikubali neno la Mungu. I want to put the right order. Nataka kuweka mpangilio ulio sawa. Correcting my relationship as I serve God. Kurekebisha uhusiano wangu ninapokumtumikia Mungu. Maybe you serve God. Labda unamhutumikia Mungu. But there is a certain sin or a certain thing that follows your life. Na kuna aina ya dhambi au jambo ambalo unafuata maisha yako. There is a certain weakness that follows your life. Kuna udhaifu unaofuata maisha yako. So you could be working very hard to cover for that sin or that weakness. Labda unafanya kazi kwa jitihada ili ufunike hiyo dhambi ama huo udhaifu. If you could be that kind of a person. Labda wewe ni mtu wa aina ile. If you could be that person who wants to, uh, to correct your relationship with Christ. Wewe ni huyo mtu ambaye angetamani kurekebisha uhusiano wake na Kristo. You can raise up your hand we'll pray together. Inua mkono wako tuombe pamoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have neglected your prayer life. Umeacha mtindo wako ama maisha yako ya maombi. You have neglected fellowshiping together with the believers. Umeachana na ushirika na wapendwa. You have neglected studying the word of God. Umepuuza kulisoma neno la Mungu. That is uh, you have reverted the, 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 the order of God. Hiyo umeondoa mpangilio wa Mungu. I will not call you here in front but I would want to pray with you. Sitakuita hapa mbele lakini ningetamani kuomba na wewe. Because uh, so that from today. Sema kuomba kutoka siku ya leo. Have the right order in your life. Uwe na mpangilio ulio sawa sawa maishani mwako. Kuna mtu uh, kama huyo. Mudu wa Mdheboshio. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kila mmoja inua mkono wako tuombe. Omo hito tuwe mkono wako tuhoe. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Mwadhani dhini wale tolea Yesu Kristo. Asante kwa sababu ya neno ah uh, hilo ambalo limekuja siku ya leo. The you need to work you can do it ni neno la wakati. Nikiwa ya kaida laka. And especially wakati tunajiandaa kwa sababu ya revival. Na haswa tokea hali yenu ndio revival. Ambayo kuna kazi mingi ambayo inaenda kutokea ya huduma. Ila kuna wira mwingi ukumbera wao tugata. 
baba tusaidie mwana nitutaidie ya kwamba uhusiano wetu na wewe tigwatanilo itu nawe kila mmoja wetu binafsi awe wito kiube ikue sawa yagirire tukutumikie tukiwa wana tukutatire tulishiana so that we can serve you as sons in the kingdom tukuhudumie kama wana katika ufalme because that is the, that is your desire kwa maana hiyo ndio shauku kama wako thank you for that word asante kwa hilo neno We bless your servant Pastor David. Sawa, so, bariki mtumishi wako wa mchungaji Daudi. For allowing himself to be used. Kwa so, kujitolea kutumika na wewe. We declare blessing upon you and your family. Tangaza baraka juu yako na jamii yako. Father, even as individuals. Baba, hata sisi kibinasi. As we continue uh, to hear this word. Na tunaendelea kulisikia hili neno. Help us to to practice. Tusaidie kulifanyisha kazi. That which we have heard. Kila ambacho tumesikia. Thank you for honoring us with your presence. Asante kwa sababu ya kutubariki na uwepo wako. In Jesus name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. We pray and believe. Tuomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Tupigie bwana makofi. Pray Jesus makofi. Amen. We appreciate Amen. Pastor David. Tuone Pastor David makofi. God bless you. Thank you for that word. Kwa sababu ya hilo neno. We are done with the service. Maliza ibada. Uh, from tomorrow morning uh, we are starting our prayer week. Kuanzia kesho asubuhi tunaanza uh, wiki ya maombi. Be part of that. Kuwa sehemu ya hiyo wiki ya maombi. Tulikubaliana kwa hii kanisa hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kukufa kwa sababu ya kufunga. Toa hivi dhani ile kanisa yote limudoge kuane kuihiga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But fasting is for your own benefit. Lakini kufunga ni kwa manufaa yako mwenyewe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I said